What's nails? Chibli kept saying it during his music bracket yesterday. Whenever a song was good, he'd go, nails, 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 nails. What is, is it an, is it an emoji? It's an emoji. It's an emote. It's also a band. I gotta say, Chibli might have the best music taste on, on Twitch. I feel like, uh, well, and I, I'd put Justin up there, even though Justin's music is not always my tempo. We have a reasonable amount of, in common. Sometimes Chibli's a little Gen Z for me, like in his best songs of all time bracket. Um, I think the oldest song on the list was from like 2014. But I definitely do feel like if most streamers did a music bracket, it would either be like the, the best song of all time would be like some Skrillex song from a Call of Duty montage, or it would be like um, Don't Stop Believing by Journey or like Highway to Hell by ACDC or something like that. When I was almost none of the songs Chibli played, I had heard and almost all of them. I was like, this song is really good. I was even bumping uh, Headboard by Lil Ugly Mane in the car on the way to daycare. I'd never heard of this little ugly mane before. And I said, wait a minute, this is my tempo. I put it on in the car and I was like, this is a, it's a great song. I didn't know. I knew two of the songs. One of them was, uh, well, I, I knew Be Sweet by Japanese Breakfast. I don't want to offend anybody. It's a, it's a great song. I'm not going to say it's bad because that's the opposite. I'm going to offend you because I was introduced to it via the Peloton, which people are going to be like, no! Ah! Oh, really? It's true. It was on the 30-minute the lane break Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month ride. It's also how I got introduced to Mitski and Rina Samawaya and also whoever sings that song that's like, how far down does the indigo go? Got a something, but then it's got it. Her name is... um. Her name is, ah, that's, uh, thank you, Nikki, thank you, thank you. It was a good playlist, though. The only song I disliked was the one that was like, I want to live a dog's life. But one thing about me, I, I do not uh, respect the acoustic guitar. There is like one artist that has my permission to release an album that's just a soothing voice and the acoustic guitar. That's Nick Drake. He died in 1972. I don't even give uh, Iron and Wine permission, quite frankly. Couple of Iron and Wine songs, sure, but like their whole career is that? No, thank you. Not even Sufian? He got, not a whole album. One to two songs per album? Absolutely. I like when Sufian goes electric, though. Listen, I got nothing against Feudal Devices. Like, that's a great song. But I prefer the Sufian songs where he goes um, My Bloody Valentine mode and then like turns his microphone into an amp or his amp into a microphone when he sells his turntables, buys an arpeggiator and a sequencer when he makes a Yaz record. I mean, there, there's worse songs, but if you wanted to uh, play a song that would kill me if I heard it 30 times straight, Iron and Wine's cover of Such Great Heights. Like if you put that on, if I got captured by ISIS and they put that on, I would ask them to end my life. At least, can I, every like six iron and wine rotations, can I get at least the original one time so I can hear some beeps and boops? John Mayer catching strays? Yeah, I do not like John Mayer. The end. It's not a stray. It's like a directed attack. He's pretty divisive. No, not really. He's hella good at guitar. I mean, this might strike you as being a little bit like a bad faith attack, but... I don't really care how well he plays the guitar. I just wish he would make like some music this good. Like he's not an NBA basketball player where I'm like, holy cow, John Mayer just put up like a triple double on stage. Like I want to hear some songs that like lift my spirit or, or crush my spirit, but like do so in, in interesting ways. Bicarbonate fig leaf. Hey, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. I saw a great, uh, I, I stole someone's Twitter avatar today. I didn't use it myself, but I, I liked their avatar. So I clicked on the picture and then I hit save and I'm going to use it as a reaction image. 
it was uh, the Cocteau Twins, Heaven or Las Vegas, but in on just like masked in front of it, it had a picture of Kevin Smith, and then the album cover said Kevin or Las Vegas. I looked at it and I said, I'm gonna put that in my in my saved images folder. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to be able to use it, but I'm, I'm going to use it. How are you going to use it as a reaction image? I don't know. Maybe Chib will tweet something about Harold Budd, and then I'll be able to reply with the Kevin or Las Vegas. So I'm still decompressing. I went dicko mode on the Peloton this morning. 30-minute Sam Yo Hidden Hills ride. Output was like 390. Average wattage, <clears throat> like 217, 218. 30-minute... Uh, Hannah Corbin 90s ride uh, average wattage was like 208 total output like 360 or something like that 15 minute Emma Lovewell low impact ride that shit was not low impact I just stayed in the saddle my ass went went dicko mode total output was like 175 average wattage like 190 something like that dicko mode dicko mode adjective to go on to go sicko mode in a dicko way similar words dicko mode going goblin use it in a sentence i went dicko mode on the peloton today d i c k o space m o d e dicko mode that's a verb wrong i'm feeling dicko mode today feeling is the verb dicko mode is an adjective I'm dicko moding today. Um, I don't think you can, you're right. I don't think you can do that. See, that's why it's not a verb. I don't believe you can say I'm, I mean, you can say it. Shakespeare made up a lot of words too. I don't believe you can say, I, I don't consider it to be apt to say I'm dicko moding. I think you have to attach it to a verb. I don't know if that means it's a, it's an adverb. Again, I slept through that, uh, day of third grade grammar class and, and they never recovered it again. I think you can go dicko mode. I think you can feel dicko mode. I think you can be serving dicko mode. Can you move on? Listen, Talia, you've been here for like nine years, 10 years. At some point when, when it, there's been a, a decade straight of like, why is he talking about this? I think you got to look yourself in the mirror and say, maybe you like it. When I see a new chatter go like, what is he talking about? I'm like, that makes sense. They're new around here. But when someone's been here for a decade and they're like, what's he talking about? I'm like, you know what I'm talking about. That's why he came back. Everybody here is as sick as me. They just like to pretend that they're the normies. Meanwhile, I see the shit that you post in... Uh, Kate's chat after I raid her. You're the sicko. I'm the normie. I'm finishing my damn stream. I'm eating a, a garden salad. I go to Kate's chat. It's like, it's degenerate hours over there. Dude, I forgot. Okay. Should we start with uh, Housel today? The YouTube audience would love some how. <clears throat> Slash marker. Dulls. Hey, YouTube, you actually missed the dull yesterday because it got introduced uh, in overtime. By the way, I don't even want to... I don't want to belabor how bad the movie Catwoman is, but it did come to Canadian Netflix recently. Uh, so I've, I watched it in two parts. First part made it until roughly the reveal of the villain, which is Sharon Stone, who gets her power from a vino lotion. In the, in the final act of Catwoman, Sharon Stone almost kills Catwoman by um, breaking a window on, in a skyscraper that's supporting her weight. But before she does it, she says, it's game over. Then Halle Berry, as Catwoman, says, guess what? Dot, dot, dot. It's overtime. Definitely has to rank on one of the worst one-liners in action movie history. It just, I, I don't cringe too much. I kind of enjoy some cringe humor, but yes, then I, she's about to fall out the window. Then she's, she says it's overtime and she springs up like 25 feet in the air to land on like a utility walkway. 
close to the ceiling of the room that the battle takes place in. Anyway. Then she's like, oh, right, I'm Catwoman. And she, like, destroys the villain. Anyway. Um, so this is Housel. We look at a, a house, we have to guess within 5% how much this house costs. There's a lot of variables. Obviously, size, uh, zip code, location, relevant uh, school districts that you're in the catchment for, but we try to have fun with it. A apparently, as well, there is a normal one, listed.fun, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll check that one out next. Yesterday, just for, pref just for perspective, yesterday's... Uh, Housel was a $68.8 million mansion in uh, Malibu, California. So I'm looking at this. Um, to, to me, just, I mean, I'm playing a little geo guesser here. To me, this looks like Montana, Dakota, something like that, um, Wyoming. So we'd expect the prices to maybe be a little lower, but I don't know. Maybe this is Jackson Hole. Maybe this is very pricey. It's got what appears to be. I don't know, a, a six-car garage that also might be a barn and also might be a house in and of itself, might be a guest house or something. It's a ranch style. I'm going to start off, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start, and keep in mind I live in an inflated property market. I'm going to start and say that this is a $4 million house, but I, it might come with a staggering amount of land as well. You know what, because of the fact that this, I'm realizing now this might come with like 30 acres of land, I'm going to bump this up to an 8 million. That's too high. Okay, that's too high. It has its own... This is the house where they filmed Meet the Parents, the classic volleyball scene where uh, Greg Fokker breaks his uh, sister-in-law's nose. It's got, indoor pool is extravagant, but it's not like, you know... It's not as extravagant as having like a, your own bowling alley or something like that or... You know, I, well, I'm trying to think of what, your own laser tag arena or something. It's a plastic slide. I was friends with a kid for like a few years in school who had his own indoor pool. And they were rich, but they weren't like, you know, they weren't Warren Buffett rich. They were just like, you know, more wealthy than you could ever imagine. They weren't like more wealthy than like a calculator could imagine. I'm going to go with my original guess. I'm going to put this at four million. That's still too high. Okay. The home theater is something that a lot of people are into. You know what's great about this? I, I can uh, look at chat because chat doesn't know either. It is 10,000 square feet. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, the home theater, I think as a kid, I always thought that the, like a home theater would like this would be a sick thing to have in your house. But I don't want to go to like a different room in my house just to watch a movie. I just want to watch it like in my living room on the sofa or something like that. I don't want to like just go walk 150 feet and then go sit in a chair that has a cup holder. I just want to just want I got a coffee table, I got a TV. I I do think it's a little too extra. Like, the, not enough people live in Nebraska to actually fill this theater out anyway. What's the point of having, like, 35 seats in a state that's only got 31 people? Anyway, there's other reasonable solutions. So, 4 million was too high. It's 10,000 square feet. I'm not going under 2.5 on this guess. That's still too high. It's 10,000 square feet. They should, in just my two cents, they should hire like an interior designer. I mean, they got like the lights, but then the, the basement is like heavy, like contractor core. Like they just finished building it and they didn't want to put any extra money into the build. I get that they probably paid through the teeth for the lights, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it down to 175. It's, I, I can't stress this enough. It's 10,000 square feet. So what is, we're getting down to the point where it's like $100 a, a square foot. Oh! <laughs> we were in there. You're a Housel Baron. You won in four guesses. I don't even want to know how much that shit would be in Vancouver. Because I also don't know like the acreage that it has. But realistically, I think you would be looking at like $16 million plus. Like it, cause it's 10,000 square feet. You'd be paying more than a thousand bucks Canadian per square foot, at least 
I mean, you'd be you'd be looking at <laughs> maybe maybe twenty five million, maybe maybe somewhere in there. I don't know. Listed dot fun real estate price guessing game. Okay. Now we're talking. This is a little bit more like what I'm looking for. Okay, hang on. Up means guess. My, okay, I'm I'm just learning. You got to get within one percent to win. And a diagonal arrow means you're within 10%. So this is a, I mean, this is probably like the average starter home from the 1950s. I'm going to guess it's about 1,300 square feet. Nothing wrong with this house. It, it, it obviously super depends on where it is right now. I'm going to say this is somewhere in the, in the slightly, well, I'm going to say it's a markedly below average price for an American home in 2023. I'm going to put it at 285000 I was, I was way too high. Okay. Um, it's in Berlin Heights, Ohio. I was more than 10% off. Give me a 210000 I was more than 10% off. It's a single family home. Yeah, I got eyes. <laughs> I'm familiar. Um, seven guesses left. I mean, we're going to get this. Give me 165000 Sold for 165000 You're crazy. I'm, I'm the best player in the world at listed. I don't, I don't know enough about Ohio. Honestly. What did I say? By the way, what did I say? 1,300 square feet? I'm crazy. Previous price was 85000 sold 10 years ago. I mean, what? It doubled in 10 years? Said like an average uh, cumulative growth rate of 7% annually, people G. Why wouldn't you just buy the S&P 500 instead? Oh, because you can't raise your kids in the S&P 500? Have you ever tried? Kind of a steal. It did looks. Like, I mean, again, I don't know the neighborhood. Looks fine to me. Ohio's cheap. It's it's crazy that Ohio is so cheap. When I know multiple cities in the state, like when Nebraska is cheap, I'm like, yeah, it's Nebraska. What it's got Lincoln and Omaha. I don't know anything else. That would be one million in Vancouver. No, it would not be one million. It would be. It would, it's 1,354 square feet. It would probably be like one and a half. And when you like toured it, you would be like, this is a teardown. And we got to like build a new house on top of the land. The, the assessed value of the land would be like one and a half Canadian. And then the building would be worth like 175,000. And the land would be worth 1.3, 1.35. And someone would buy it, tear it down, and then probably build like the ugliest fucking house of all time on top of it. <laughs> this looks like Tony Montana's wet dream. Not that this house is like a looker necessarily, but you know, it was built 70 years ago. Today's tradle is, it seems a little insane to me. Mollusks is 60% of their exports. 406 million, pretty small. Planes, helicopters, or spacecraft? Maybe it's not planes. Maybe it's helicopters and or spacecraft, in which case I have no idea. Wool always makes me think of, like, New Zealand, which has me thinking this could be, like, a Pacific Island country. But, I mean, I, this is just off the top of my head. I, I see wool. I'm going a Pacific Island area. Give me Papua New Guinea, and then I don't know. I can't imagine that they make spacecraft there, but, okay, we are not even close. Can I get a, a check here? How, how could something be southeast of Papua New Guinea? <laughs> so, 13,000. I got to go around the horn, man. So this is like, we're basically, because the diameter of the earth is like, I don't know, like 30,000 kilometers. So we're basically as far away from the right answer as we could get. 
What about uh, Cabo Verde, Cape Verde? I'm just trying to get a bead on this now, okay? I'm in a scary place here. It's 60% is southwest of Cape Verde, but southeast of Papua New Guinea. Okay, this means it's South America. <laughs> I think. Is it Uruguay? It's a lot closer. It's south of Uruguay, which leaves you with like uh, Argentina or, or parts of Chile or the Falkland Islands, which we tried to play yesterday. Oh! <laughs> I'm so happy we guessed it yesterday because otherwise it would not have been top of mind. Holy cow. That makes sense. Now that, now that you see it, it makes sense. A British administered island? Is this, or is it an Argentinian administered? I, listen, I'm just ignorant. I'm not trying to wade into the discussion here. Manufacturing like a very high industrial part at $123 million a year. I could see that. Yeah, maybe like, maybe they support a major carrier. They aren't making planes. They're selling planes they got in storage. What are you, like the chief import, the chief trade officer for Malvinas? How do you know that? You don't know. If you're in my Twitch chat, you don't know that. What are you talking about? Why don't you toss me a Belarus? Oh, a thousand kilometers away from Belarus. Why don't you give me a Georgia? Even warmer. 420 blaze it away from Georgia. I mean, you could always just go straight up Russia. That's adjacent to the answer. Well, that really narrows it down. Um, let me get a Kazakhstan. I spell it that way every time. I spell it the Sean Connery way. It's Kazakhstan. I'm crazy. No joke. If we do geographic dulls every day before the real stream starts, one day I will actually be worldly without having left my own home. Okay, now we're in the movie section. September 17th, 2004. Oh, baby. I don't know any of these immediately, and none of them made very much money at all. Um, this is box office game. This is scary. Because honestly, um, none of these... I mean, $15 million opening is is nothing. Like, that's not a blockbuster. New Line Cinema. Let, let's get some... Give me an actor on this one. Jude Law. This could be Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. He's nuts. Okay, minimize that one. Touchstone Pictures doesn't even exist anymore. Open to 9 million. Give me an actor. Bernie Mac. This is probably Mr. 3000. We'll submit that. Minimize it. Get it out of my face. Sony Pictures, total gross as of its second week, 37 million. Give me an actor. Mila Jovovich. This is Resident Evil uh, 2, which is, I believe, called Revelations. Resident Evil, give it a set. Oh, it's Apocalypse. It's Apocalypse. Okay, close that one up. Universal, open to 7 million. Give me an actor. Kirsten Dunst. 2004, this, it's before Marie Antoinette, Kirsten Dunst, could it be The Virgin Suicides, I think it's from like 2001, because Lost in Translation is from like 2003, yeah, okay, that can't be right, Kirsten Dunst leads the movie, let me get actor two, Paul Bettany, this is Wimbledon, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Gio Rainbold for real, man. I feel like Gio Rainbold. 
And then New Line Cinema. Let me get the actor. Chris Evans is from 2004. Let me get Not Another Teen Movie. Oh, I thought for sure. This is the, the perfect score. Okay, okay, okay. Relax. Chris Evans, 2004. <sighs> Let me get actor two. Kim Basinger probably played his mom. Let me get tagline. If the signal dies, so does she. This is one last call. The call. This is cell. Cell. Oh. I know this movie. Like, I, I know the name. It's a horror movie. Ah, uh, I don't think I'm going to get the name. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reveal all hints on this one. A young man receives an emergency phone call on his cell from an older woman. She claims to have been kidnapped, and the kidnappers have targeted her child or husband next. Her d husband and child next. I give up. This one's going to burn me up. Cellular! <laughs> cellular. <laughs> the cell, cellular, cell. One last call. Come on. Dude, that was a great... I know I'm in 70th percentile, but that was a great performance. Sky Captain, Mr. 3000, Resident Evil 2, and Wimbledon? Holy... We did go a little insano mode. Oh, cellular. It sounds like that. Oh, I guess it's the the cell or um, not the cell. The call is that one that they make fun of in forgetting Sarah Marshall. It's like the premise is what if your phone killed you? I. Yeah, I think I'm washed. I'm going to, let's do some plausible swaps and see if we get lucky. Francis McDormand, psychological thriller that maybe also had Florence Pugh in it. Okay, no. Nope. Um, how about a Tilda Swinton famous women? How about a... Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> okay, I'm, I, I, I threw. What's the solution here? Women colony talk, Francis McDormand? That's women talking. <laughs> Even though I, all I knew about women talking was that it was nominated for Best Picture. I just, I honestly, even knowing that it was likely, I, I couldn't tell you what the four elements were. I didn't even know it had Francis McDormand in it. Highly recommend. It's real good. What do you mean? You haven't seen all the Best Picture nominees? I'll do you one better. I haven't seen any of the Best Picture nominees. I haven't seen Everything Everywhere All at Once. I haven't seen Top Gun Maverick. Didn't see The Whale. Didn't see Tar. But you've seen Wimbledon? The, the most fucked up part about it is I have not seen Wimbledon. <laughs> I, but for some reason, it was locked in my brain. I didn't get it on Kirsten Dunst, but Kirsten Dunst, Paul Bettany, my, my brain went... Zzz. That's Wimbledon. Nope, didn't, didn't see Banshees either. What happened? You used to be cultured? I don't have time to be cultured anymore. Hey, honey, just sit in your high chair. I'm going to sit down and watch Tar. A three-hour and three-minute-long slow burn from Todd Phillips. Just, just watch your iPad, honey. Rayman Legends. This, uh, we, it's earlier than 2013, and it's not a platformer, and it came out on uh, one of one of the consoles of all time. You know what? Take me back to 2005 and give me Demon Souls. This might give me the 2019 or 2020 version now that I think about it. Um, it's single player, multiplayer, or cooperative. Hmm. It's not from Ubisoft. 
and it's not a side view, and it's not a an adventure or a platformer. How about Final Fantasy VII? You ever hear about that? Okay, it came out on... We can do some math. It came out on PC, PS4, and or Xbox One. There's not a strategy, role-playing, or adventure game. It is a single-player game with, with club sauce, and Sony was Sony or Square was involved in it in some way. Let me get a Tomb Raider 2014. Let's just go with uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider then, just to make sure we got the right one. Okay? Still, the consoles haven't told us anything, but it's either... It's a shooter... That was not... Oh, this is a different Square Enix. Motherfucker. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Maybe it's a Sony shooter. From pre... Uh, this Killzone Shadowfall. Ah! It's a first-person shooter. It did not come out on the PS4. And it's, that means it's not from Sony. Okay. Which means it must be a Square Enix first-person shooter? <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> um, and it's not on... It didn't come out on the PS4. It came out on PC and or Xbox One. What about... The Syndicate... Oh, they don't even have it. That's EA anyway. <laughs> Wrong saga. First person shooter. For the, X, for the PC, probably, is the most likely outcome here. How about the game Black? For PlayStation 2 and PC, maybe? Okay, so it's later than 2006. That's EA as well. It's like single player and co-op. Give me a one-time clue, please. It's from 2012. Could it be Dishonored? Nope. It's not that, but it is from 2012. I mean, Dishonored's kind of a shooter. Don't insult me. Could it be... I mean, I just, I, I feel like Square Enix has published like one first person shooter and I don't know what it is right now. So I'm going to hold down the guest but I'm going to say Super Mario Bros. You? I'm going to say Super Mario Bros. 3. And I'm going to say Super Mario Brothers 2. Call of Duty Black Ops 2? What the fuck? Square Enix was the pub dev? They're the pub dev of... Like what? On the PSP or something? They published the Wii U port? Oh, brother. We got like a... It's not a false positive, but it wasn't a positive positive. We should, we never should have guessed Final Fantasy VII, man. It screwed us, o screwed us over. A Quiet Place did radicalize me on hating uh, movie theater snobs, though. Because so many posts on uh, uh, about A Quiet Place were like, I saw this in theaters, and the person in front of me in the movie theater was eating popcorn the whole time. They should not allow you... It completely ruined the tension of the, the film. They should not allow popcorn to be sold to people that are going to see A Quiet Place. Of course they're eating popcorn, idiot. You're at the movie theater. Yes, you are the asshole. Why, why TA? Am I the asshole for going to the movies and being mad that other people are eating popcorn? Yeah, it's a popcorn store. Holy cow. This is New York City, baby. This is the most offensive sign I've ever seen in my entire life. Nathan's famous stop here. Arrows, bright red. It looks like a YouTube thumbnail. 
Others imitate. This is the original. This is the only original. Nathan's famous. Follow the crowd. Nathan's famous. Open all year. Nathan's famous. Nathan's frozen dessert. This is crazy. There's so many people. But it's New York. There's probably a lot of people at, like at all times. This to me, I'm going to say this is 1955. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. These are American um, fighter jets. We're going to say that this is probably 1942. Nutty. This to me certainly looks like a mall ice cream shop in the early 80s. I haven't seen Stranger Things season three, but I'm going to guess that this is the third season of Stranger Things. Give me a 1982 on this. Holy cow. We've had this one before. I don't remember specifically when it was. It definitely gives off more of a mid 80s vibe than an early 90s. Let me get an 86 on this. 89. 42.62. Pretty good. Pretty good. You had this photo before? I believe I may have mentioned that. Hang on. Do you have watching without audio flair? If not, I'm going to force that upon you. Burr, 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 burr. Burr, 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 burr. It's just whistling. I don't know this. I, I would only know the Andy Griffith show. This is Chill Bill featuring J. Davey dollar sign by Rob Stone. Unlucky. You didn't get today's hurdle. It's not really unlucky. A skill difference. I, I simply don't know it. <laughs> don't don't flatter me by saying I was unlucky. I mean, come on. No sound? Yeah, I don't want to get my channel DMCA'd. Okay. You've never seen Kill Bill? Bro, the song came out in 2016. Maybe a sample's a, a whistling part of Kill Bill, but I, I'm old. I saw that shit when it came out. I didn't see it like two years ago in film studies class. You didn't recognize the Kill Bill theme? No, I haven't seen the movie in fucking 19 years. <laughs> Just remember cutting a bunch of people's arms off in the first movie, and I was like, this is sick. And then in the second movie, she doesn't fucking do anything. And I was like, ah, it's still pretty good. Minus two, minus two. Listen, I was like 16 when I saw it, okay? It's been a long time. The word Kino didn't exist to describe cinema back then. It's in Kill Bill, but it's not from Kill Bill. Do you ever realize you fuckers will argue about fucking anything? <laughs> it's just a song. It's like, we're going to move on, okay? It's irrelevant. It's not, don't let it ruin your day. Like, you don't have to step out in front of people and like at them and then correct them. Actually, the original sample is like, Wyatt Earp was whistling in the, the OK Corral in 1871. It's OK. We'll just live and let live, man. It's all right. No, it's not banter because banter's got to be funny. This is just a bunch of people like out nerding each other. You have to if, if you want the nerd to be banter as well, then you've got to add like an insult to it that's funnier than it is insulting. So people laugh rather than take offense. That's banter. You don't just go, you're wrong, and then you're like, oh, sorry, it was just banter. This is the most base thing this man has ever said. Apollo, hello! You're just in time, Apollo. We're going to play Raven's Watch. It's a sponsored action roguelite. The game is from the developers of Curse of the Dead Gods, which we also played a lot of. I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to, it's hearsay. I'm going to repeat it. I saw some people describe it as a Hades-like. I don't want to say your expectation is too high, but I also saw someone describe it as a potential Hades killer. A potential Hades killer. Not a Garrett, because Hades is like in the pantheon. I'm not trying to set your expectations so high. I'm just trying to bait the hook a little bit. 
Very excited today. It's always, it, anytime you get the opportunity to say, wake up, honey, a new action roguelite from the developers of Curse of the Dead Gods just dropped. That's a good day. So I'll tell you right off the top, this is Raven's Watch. It just came out in early access, like, I think nine minutes ago. This is a sponsored segment. Thank you to Nacon for the sponsorship. What is Raven's Watch? It's a single player or co-op action roguelite. We're going to dive in ourselves here. The way I understand it, unique character classes. And a, a, this is a little different. Normally, you're playing something like Isaac. You walk into a room, ta -ta -ta, you kill the enemies, the boss room's there. I don't want to fight the boss. In this one, time ticks down while you're in the nightmare. And the slower you go, it doesn't matter Like if you're like, oh, I'm taking my time, I'm farming or something right now. Instead... When the time hits zero, you're fighting the boss whether you want to or not. And as someone who enjoys um, rushing and doesn't always give things, you know, the time and consideration that they deserve, it's a great opportunity for me, I think, to make up some of the skill difference. So I'm just changing my title here. Wake up, honey. New action roguelite just dropped. Exclamation point. Raven's watch. A hashtag ad. You know, it's funny, everyone makes fun of me for, like, playing games too quickly, for rushing. Meanwhile, they go to chess.com, they're like, I've never played a game of chess with longer than 10 minute time controls. Until you've spent 90 minutes, 120 minutes, whatever, staring down your opponent across the board, getting up every 15 minutes to just pace around and look at other boards and not really understand what's happening on the board, but you just can't bear to look at your own 8x8 grid anymore with no fog of war. You keep my rush out of your mouth, okay? Anyway, we're gonna get started. I thought someone in chat said anyone else getting FIFA vibes. I'm not getting FIFA vibes. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm dropping this. True, this is just like my ultimate team right now. I'm something of a MOBA expert, so this is just like another day at the office for me right now. And I'm going sicko mode. Look at this. Oh, you can break the pots, maybe get some resources. You could pick up some gold. But remember, we only have four days. I'm gonna break this crystal. It's gotta have something. Hey, whoa, what the heck? I'm a werewolf! Okay, this must be werewolf. Oh, wait, no, 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 tab, 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 tab me, tab me. What's werewolf power? Is that something special? Gain 50 armor, attack, and power. Wait, gain 50 armor, attack, and pow power must be my right click, right? And this is attack? Or maybe leap is my power. Jump, then smash into the ground. Game of the year, honestly. <laughs> That's from Apollo. I get it. He's stacking. Apollo, are you getting Dota flashbacks? By the way, exclamation point. Raven's Watch. You can go check it out for yourself. It came out in early access today. Um... I believe in the f the full game release is planned for 2024. I believe that there's going to be five chapters in the full game. Early Access has access to the first one so far. The breadth of that we're going to discover as, as this one goes on. Why would Ravens need watches? Can I just be the guy that says to tell the time? Seems as good a reason as any to me. Hello, gamers. What's going on? <laughs> oh! You know what? We should always... I'm... I thought I was going shift-o mode there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm... I, whatever. I become a werewolf. I'm sure I come back with full HP anyway. Joke's on you. I do not come back with full HP at all. I'm alive. Oh! <laughs> it's good timing. Good timing. I'll consume a raven's feather. We could be we could just do better. You know, that's not like it's not a fundamental problem with our build. We could just do better. So far so good. And these guys are quite potent. I'm at max range of your hook. It's kind of embarrassing for you that you didn't know that. Run. Okay, good. One one at a time, piecemeal. Nice try, just kidding. 
He's been stundo mode. Sorry. I, if I knew how to stop, I would stop. You've been killed. You're in a world of hurt. One enemy, like 1v1 me, you're, you're torched. It's over for you. And there's an upgrade. Give me more. He's feasting. I feel like I'm Shadow Fiend mid right now. Raw XD. We don't do Raw XD here, okay? I don't know what channel you came from. That's not something we, we're in the business of doing. He's it, look. It, we let, he's one tapped, but unlike when most streamers say it in a battle royale, he's actually one tapped. I'm insane. My CS is crazy right now. Great jungle, bro. I know Kate's watching this right now, and she's like... Well, she's getting a little scared, because she's a jungler. She's like, oh my god, my husband would be amazing at League. He might take my role as the house jungler. That's alright, I'm happy to support, honestly. Sometimes the best players should be the support, because it gives them the opportunity to like, more adequately play like a coach or captain role. I understand. Incorporeal, you can't stop me. You can stop me. I shouldn't have taken that damage. There, there was no need for it. Thank you so much for the HP orbs, by the way. Please, HP orbs is my father. You can just call me health. It's so over for you. Plus two? There wasn't even there was no joke there. It wasn't even funny. Exact same build the second time. Hey, oh, oh, I I do what I can with what I'm given. They give me the same options. We're not picking the common, you know. This is We paid 15 bucks for the Magic the Gathering draft. Yeah, I'm gonna take the mythic rare, even if it's in the colors I'm not playing, okay? Like magic is like one third about actually playing the game, and two thirds about um, making $14 in value when you paid $15 to join the draft and feeling like Jordan Belford from the Wolf of Wall Street when you do it. That's true. I, f I forgot about 100% reason to remember the name. That's a very important part of it. That's so embarrassing for you that you die in one hit. Like, wouldn't be me. You can't affect me, I'm a werewolf. Dude, are you seeing the healing? I'm actually going Ursa mode. And now, the best part is, orbs are not, um... They don't do anything for me anymore. So there's actually no way chat can backseat me and say, Hey, you missed some orbs. He's absolutely right. Get on. I'll do insane damage in a cone for three seconds. Okay, they got crazy shields. Just break the tentacles again. Don't be a fool. Brother, run! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Maybe I should just go go sicko on you. No, play do it the way you've been doing it. You're doing great. Don't don't let impatience uh, get you down. We bait the attack. Crazy. Stay patient. That didn't go so hot. Oh no. We're alive. That didn't hit me. Dodge this. You pick your window. You pick your attacking window. We've done it. No problem. Nerf this. 
You have succeeded to defeat a master nightmare and cleanse the Dark Hills from the corruption. Congratulations. Your journey will soon continue in Chapter 2, reaching the deadly shores of the Storm Island. This chapter will be available as the early access expands and will allow you to discover a whole new area and level up your heroes even further beyond. In the meantime, if you're up for a challenge, handle the next difficulty level. I'll try. Aren't you a glass cannon? Honestly, I've been playing as this character for four minutes and five seconds. I, I, I just truly don't know. Beautiful. Eleven times now. Nine more. And then we can do like two consecutively, right? Doing so again grants 13 shield to all heroes around. Maybe I am a glass cannon. Captain America pulling up a chair backwards, also known as the cool way. So, you're a glass cannon. It's Pudge. I feel like I'm doing insane damage relative to what I was doing at this stage of the game as the as the other character. I, I, I feel like I'm... I, I can't believe I burned all my, my sicko modes and my dicko modes and my shifto modes as the last character. Because, like, now I feel like... If, if I mean, if that was sicko mode before, then I don't even know what to call this anymore. 16 successful AoEs. Oh, it's true, I am in nightmare difficulty. So, if anything, that makes it even more impressive, right? That's what you're trying to say? And I gotta keep paying attention to these freaking rats. Meanwhile, I'm doing like a, a hardcore level static in Final Fantasy XIV. Why is everyone asking me to smoke crack today? It's crazy. Usually, like, every stream will be, like, one or two comments about smoking crack. Today, there's, like, like ten different people are asking me to smoke crack. I'm not going to smoke crack. If I was going to do it, I definitely wouldn't do it on stream, but I'm not going to do it. I have enough problems, you know, just, just living life, you know, raw style. You're living life on cracked? Yeah, mostly. I mean, I have some bio steel every morning, usually, although I didn't this morning, so now I, I look like a liar. I don't think it's basically the same thing. Um, BioSteel is a all-natural, sugar-free hydration solution. I don't think crack is any of those things. I definitely don't think it's all-natural. I could be mistaken, though. I'm, I'm honestly just not really well-versed on, on what crack even is, quite frankly. That seemed a little underwhelming to me, but I'm gonna guess. Oh, whoa, what a hug, Dendi! I'm gonna guess that that's a personal problem with me, rather than uh, it being actually bad. Okay, please get some rats in there. Oh, I got stuck on the freaking fence, dude. Holy, relax! Drop an AoE on him. It's over. Okay, the boss is screwed. Give him one of these. Oh, baby! <laughs> Holy! Whatever. We're, we're still... We're learning. Do every character, at least of the three we've played so far, is definitely distinct. <laughs> it is like playing a new character in League, like, the first time. Is this, like, our, our special dungeon, too? Or is it just a just a big lad? Whoops! Whoops! Help me! Worst attack I've ever done. I'd like to apologize. What's the Tampa Bay Lightning copy pasta when they got swept by the Columbus Blue Jackets? We know this isn't how you expected the season to end. We want you to know like we're as sad as you are. It was a great meme until they won the next two Stanley Cups. Oh yes, I, not only did I see the Nashville, Chicago copy pasta, I was, uh, as you know, I'm something of a Redditor myself. I go to our hockey on occasion. I saw the post when it was posted. The one where uh, Nashville swept Chicago and then the dude posted, uh, does anyone else think this is a fluke? I think in situations like this, the NHL should just like, I don't know, rerun the series. And if they get us again, that's fine. I'll accept that they're better, but... Otherwise, like, it just kind of cheapens what was otherwise a great season for us. It is a, it's an all-time classic. Also, the one that's like, um... 
after Connor McDavid's like first two games in the NHL. What if the kid's just not ready? Like I know he's it, it's you can't say it here or I'll get downvoted, but he's literally 18 years old. Like at 18 years old, I wasn't doing anything special. And then he's gone on to become like, you know, the best player of his generation. There's great copy pastas in every sport. Like uh, he boomed me straight up. He said he wants to add him to his list of people he's going to train with next year. He's Yeah, he's so good. He's so good. I think the NBA probably wins. Chess has some good ones. You're not wrong. You are the biggest loser I ever seen. While you were still PP in your pampers, I was beating many players much more greater than you. Liars will never win. Truths also always prevail. Driving around downtown Dallas, begging for the location of uh, DeAndre Jordan through text. Also a classic. I don't even follow the NBA and I know the memes. That's how you know they're like next level. Call me January the way I be jonesing. Is this anything? I'm going to be honest with you, librarian. I don't think that's as bad as, as people are going to tell you it is. I don't think it's it's amazing. But I think you could put that in like a Seth Rogen movie or something. Like, like Jonah Hill could say that in a Seth Rogen movie and it would elicit some laughs. From like the 8% of the audience who knows who January Jones is. I'm not insulting January Jones. I'm just saying I, I feel like most people don't have like an active knowledge of, of January Jones. It's true. Twitch has some good memes too. My wife just brought me a sandwich not asked for. That's a... Uh, I mean... As far as I'm concerned, that's like an, an actual all-time post. Like... I did leave out some details on purpose. <laughs> I don't want to besmirch a colleague. I, it's just a great tweet. Okay, Q, E. And then after that, if you're going to prove something in mathematics, I believe you put a D. Here's an honest question for you. All right, I, let me not even phrase it as a question. I'm just going to make it an honest statement instead. I think if you are in school, if you're in... Um, you know, you're doing algebraic proofs, geometric proofs. If you write, I did that shit instead of QED, it should be illegal for your teacher to um, give you a mark off. Because isn't that just what like QED means in Latin? Is just I did that shit? Yes, exactly. Yeah, like, I don't think, why should we still be writing in Latin? Like, I don't live in Latvia. I don't know why we're, we're so slavish to the QED format, man. We should be able to write it in the parlance of our times. You should be able to, to write like a killer proof and then be like, I got the bag. That's what kids say these days, right? Me when my mom give me, gives me some Robux. I got the bag though. I, I guarantee we could do better. We have to, we have to farm up faster this time. Ignited enemies explode when they die. It is, it's a single-player MOBA. Make sure you're igniting enemies. Not only will they take more damage, but it'll help you kill this guy faster, which will help you farm up faster. It's all about farm, man. Yes, ignite two enemies. Then when they explode, it's even more econ. Don't focus so much on your defense. You're not playing this online with your, your friends from high school, okay? It's not like that. We're trying to... It's just you. It's Shadow Fiend mid versus Anti-Mage. Now, you've got the range advantage, but you know if they ever get fed, you're in a lot of trouble. The best defense is DPS. The 2004 Kansas City Chiefs strategy... We should not do this yet. We should come back and do this later. I'd like to set a reminder in chat to come back and do this later. Come back and do this later. Thank you. The, the reminder, I didn't specify a time. Remind me 17 minutes. I know it seems like it's so far away right now. I promise it'll be here before you even know it. Why are you insulting Trent Green? You mean the quarterback for the 2004 Kansas City Chiefs? I was not insulting Trent Green in the slightest. Kansas City Chiefs offense was unstoppable uh, back then. I'm insulting um, the defense. Everybody on the offense is innocent. Tony Gonzalez, Priest Holmes, Trent Green. 
Larry Johnson, Dante Hall. Like, you know, actually, now I think about it, Dante Hall was a cornerback, but he also played special teams. That You're right. It reminds me of another all-time great uh, sports copy pasta. If you take out all of uh, Patrick Mahomes' uh, special stats that are outliers, he's just an average quarterback. <laughs> I, I don't even watch the NFL, but even I saw that one, too. If you take, it was like if you take the best 50 games out of his career, he looks completely average. Slightly above Dak Prescott. Do you think if you started every game at running back, you could rush for 50 yards in an NFL season? Well, let me, let me start with this, okay? I don't think it would be easy. I also think I would probably get injured, like, super quickly. Assuming that happened, the next thing we need in order for this to have even, like, a, a, a faint chance of happening is uh, if you rush for negative yards, it needs to not come off of your season total. And I don't, I don't know if that's the way the stat works in the NFL or the CFL, for that matter. Because I'm, I'm going to be moving negative way more than I'm going to be moving positive. Yeah, all they got to do is change the rules. If you remove all of the things that make it impossible for me to join the NFL, age, size, athletic ability, like if you take all those out of the equation, I'm in there. Well, and experience. Slightly above Dak Prescott. Hey, don't insult me. What do you mean nationality? There's Canadians in the NFL. You ever hear of Doug Flutie? That was like 10 years ago. People don't forget. Name one, Doug Flutie. Name two, uh, Warren Moon and Doug Flutie. Name three, okay, you got me on that. But I'm sure there are three. All you're proving is that I don't know them. It doesn't mean they don't exist. There's 13 Canadians in the NFL as of this year. I mean, we gotta be like the second best country at American football. <laughs> Almost by default. What about Samoa? How many players does Samoa have in the NFL? Australia? How many how many Australians are in the NFL? 500? That's I'm sorry, that's not possible. In the IFAF, it's typically Japan or Germany that comes second. What the heck is the IFAF? I'm sorry to say this. I just I, maybe I'm wrong. If Japan has so many good uh, American football players, why are there none in the NFL? It's FIFA backwards. You got me. You, I, that's what I'm saying. What do you mean? But that's what I'm saying. I, I think well, maybe Samoa, someone said it has the highest ratio of citizens to NFL players. I'll give you Samoa, okay? I think Canada might be the third best country in the world at American football. I recognize there's not a lot of competition. What about The Rock? The Rock is half Canadian, you piece. Also, he's not in the NFL. He's in movies. Try to keep up. <laughs> he was? Yeah, for a bit. He probably would have stayed longer if he was fully Canadian. It was the half American part that was holding him back. What was the last book you read and when was it? You don't want to know? I did read a potty training book a couple nights ago, but that was literally like four pages long. Whether or not you'd call it a book is a, um, it's a matter of, like, who's asking. If you read it, you'd probably be like, that's a book, I'm gonna put it on Goodreads. If your friend read it, you'd be like, why are you pretending to read so much? Did it help you? It's not for me. I know how to poop in the toilet. It's over? Okay, we get another treasure in here, right? We just gotta do a mini boss. Hey, reminder, we did the thing! We're Angela Bassett. We did the thing. Tag yourself. I would say I'm... Well, I'm probably not Viola Davis, my woman king. I guess I could be Angela Bassett did the thing. I'm not saying I don't want to be. I guess I could be Jamie Lee, you are all of us. But I don't know if I'm that relatable. Gotta be a little relatable to be a streamer, I'm sure, but... Bring me back? What does this even mean? 
You weren't familiar with the memes? This is a real meme. This was this was huge on Twitter. You're trying to tell me it's not a real meme. Yeah, guys, there's memes. And a lot of other stuff, too. You're stunned. Get in there. I'm just saying, it was a big deal, okay? If you don't know it, maybe it's because you're not cool enough to know it. Why do you always reply to Chib's tweets so fast? Honestly, I, I told him this on his stream last night. For some reason, probably because I interact with them, Chibli's tweets always show up on my For You tab. So if I'm on Twitter and Chibli has tweeted in the last six hours, you can rest damn sure that there is a Chibli tweet on top of my For You page. Why are you using the For You tab? Honestly, because the people I follow on Twitter like aren't that interesting anymore. I followed them for professional obligations several years ago, and then now all they do is tweet about themselves. <laughs> for You page is not it's not perfect. Don't get me wrong. I see a lot of garbage there. I'm so sick of like threads on how to integrate Chat GPT four into your workday. But at least it, everything you see is at least a little interesting. Elon said he's making it for Twitter Blue exclusively. Well, that, that'll definitely be the last I use the For You tab then. Although I did like the story about people who um, bought Twitter Blue once when it came out and then like unsubscribed from it, but it never removed their check mark and they're begging for the check mark to be removed because they're getting like bullied for having it. It is extremely funny. No, I will not buy Twitter Blue. <clears throat> I'm certainly not gonna buy it and then hide the check mark. There's, there's just, there's no value. Also, the th the worst advertisement for Twitter Blue, besides the fact that it doesn't give you any value, is that anytime you see the stupidest shit you've ever read in your life, the the blue check mark is like a, a, a certainty. They always have the worst takes of all time. Or at least takes that I disagree with. They're, they're not my tribe, man. Honestly, we should play Dredge. No, Death Road, please. I got some terrible news for you about Death Roads. It had three shots. It had three at-bats. And it, it struck out every single one, analytically. That's more at bats than, than most people get in the majors. Hello, Chibli. Welcome to the, the third act of the stream, everybody. Chibli, I was bumping some little ugly man in the car last night. I said some very kind words about my friend Chibli. I said, um, Chibli has some of the best music taste on Twitch. You know if... Other streamers did a song bracket. The finals would be like ACDC against Don't Stop Believing by Journey. I also said that I, I liked almost every song that you played in that first song bracket. The only one I didn't like was the corny one that was like the, the little girl with the ukulele singing like I want to live a dog's life. That one was a little too much for me. Just, uh, just slightly corny. I'm not trying to offend anybody. And the only instrumental one. Excuse me, leave uh, Brian Eno out of your mouth. I will say it's crazy to me that Chibli listens to Brian Eno music for airports, but then his airport album is like some like melancholy lady. Bro, why don't you listen to music for airports in airports? Some lady. <laughs> listen. Can't be expected. I got introduced to like 16 new songs in 45 minutes yesterday. Can't be expected to remember them all. You're lucky I remember Little Ugly Man, honestly. He's cool? I know, it surprises people, but I am, I'm cool. Hey Ryan, who's the most overrated music artist of the last 20 years? It's tough, because, oh, I forgot about the Vortex Interceptor. A lot of bands that are, that people would say are overrated are like not actually rated very highly by people whose tastes actually matter to me. So I think they have to be rated fairly highly in order to be overrated. Dude, I hate to say, somebody said it's gotta be the Foo Fighters. I think you might actually be right. I had the opportunity to do a 30 minute Foo Fighters Peloton ride. And then I looked at the track list and I was like, I like three total Foo Fighters songs that are in their entire catalog. I like Learn to Fly, 
I like um, Monkey Wrench, and uh, I like Everlong, and I guess I'll, I'll throw My Hero in as well, but like, I, 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 they seem affable, don't get me wrong, they seem like, they seem like nice boys, but the, the, it's just not my, it's not my tempo, I guess. The Pretender? No, I, I don't. I don't really like The Pretender. What if I should? I'm not. I'm, I'm familiar with it. You're literally just judging the hits. All right. I'm sorry. Someone had to be offended. Okay. It's just the way of the world. I know there are people who are very passionate about the Foo Fighters, but uh, as John Fogarty said, it ain't me. If you like them, you like them. I guess I can understand being offended that I called them the. Uh, most overrated band of the last 20 years. There's probably a band that's more overrated. Because, like, I wouldn't probably turn off a Foo Fighters song if it came on. It's not Radiohead, I'm telling you. Imagine Dragons? No, everybody hates them. <laughs> Can't be Imagine Dragons. Oh, get me out of here. It's not Radiohead. Their catalog is really good. If you think it's Radiohead, our tastes don't line up. Red Hot Chili Peppers will be up there, too. For me. Green Day? No. I, I mean, again, I, I feel like Green Day is, like, not that popular. And their old stuff is, like, good. I, I definitely would. I, I, Green Day has some worthwhile records. And the Foo Fighters are? I don't know if it's just because I'm in the Peloton demo, but, like, every time a Peloton instructor plays a Foo Fighters song, there's, they almost have tears in their eyes. Like, they're so excited. Oops, I have uh, overheated. I know people are out here, they're, they're going crazy. They're, they're, they're going at the, after the Beatles, man. Most overrated band of the last 20 years? Oh yeah, I remember in 2003 when the Beatles really started taking off. 33 years after their last album came out. Two of them were already dead. You too? You guys, I honestly, you're being intellectually dishonest. You're choosing bands that most people like and forgive me for like causing you psychic damage with when I say this, that most people our age... Ah! Wait, we're not the same age. You're 34 and I'm 29. We're the same fucking age. Get used to it. It's going to be like that for the rest of your life, okay? Um, you're picking bands that most people in our demographic don't really like all that much. Like they, You can't just say... I'm dredging real quick. I don't care. You can't just say Imagine Dragons, like... Nobody in this Twitch chat is like, well, maybe there's some people, but they know better than to make it known. <laughs> They're not like, oh, I love Imagine Dragons. Also, every time I talk about you uh, 2 I'm like, the Joshua Tree is a great album. People are like, shut up, I hope you die. And I'm like, it is, though. Yeah, but they put one album on my iPhone. Okay, then delete it, like... Nobody, it's not like, in Gen X, like, U2 might be overrated. For Millennials and Gen Z, I don't think so, man. You can't delete it? Okay, well, I didn't know that. Who even knew about Imagine Dragons before Arcane blew up? I don't know, like, a hundred million people? Maybe, maybe like a billion, actually? Ed Sheeran's super overrated? Bro, he's, again, in our demographic, he's not the... You don't have to come for Ed Sheeran. It's not like you can shake a stick in chat without people being like, people being like, oh man, can I banish you real quick? Everything's, everything's ending here. Don't eat me. Real answer, I am always Radiohead. What are you talking, <laughs> we just talked about this. Bro, I'm trapped. If you think Radiohead is overrated, you need to grow up. You see what Chip just did to you? Chip just dadded you. I never thought I would say this. This game actually needs like a creative mode. Like there's there's too much stress. All I want to do is I just want to do the fetch quests. I just want to grab the I I got to keep 75 fish in my in my brain here. Meanwhile, I got to like I I can't zoom in on my freaking map. I can't even hold it like closer to my face. TP home. 
I can't. I can TP all the way back to like the first base, but then I have to spend another day sailing. I'd rather they just kill my ass, and then I have to I come back to life. Okay, I'm. I'm. Just kill me. Kill me. No, kill me. I want to. I want to reload for my last save. It doesn't attack you if you stand still. <sighs> driving me crazy, man. Okay. Rest me first. I spent a damn day sailing all the way back there. Papa's Freezeria would never do this to us. That's all I'm trying to say. People still in chat saying, like, Megan Trainer's the most overrated artist. Bro, everyone, he ha everyone hates her. I don't have an answer for you. I think, I think Foo Fighters is, an, is a reasonable answer. Like, Mouth has good taste in music, but he also likes the Foo Fighters. That means it, it hurts me to say that I think the Foo Fighters are one of the most overrated bands uh, in the last 20 years. And that's how I know that I'm like, that I'm doing the right thing. You know you're right if people get mad. I mean, the other example is definitely Weezer. People have been saying Weezer a lot. Weezer is definitely like in the running for most overrated band. Yeah, they made the Blue Album. Yeah, they made Pinkerton. Pinkerton came out 27 years ago. Almost everything since then can suck on my suck on my Weezer, <laughs> and they just keep getting worse. And yet, every single album that comes out, people are like, "No, man, I know that I said this last time, and I know it wasn't right." With the benefit of hindsight, after 18 months, we realized that album was shit. But this one is the return to classic Weezer. They release one song that doesn't even sound like classic Weezer. It sounds like Beverly Hills 2. Call out Modest Mouse? I can't because I haven't listened to a song Modest Mouse has released since the album with all the balalaikas. Lil Yachty? I've never, I've, to the best of my knowledge, I've never heard a Lil Yachty song, so I, I can't... My, my opinion is neither here nor there. I heard this game has been added to the Canadian ADHD testing guidelines. Listen, I'm not knocking Dredge. All I would say is it would be nice if I could pin a quest to, like, the right side of my screen. Because I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to remember 17 fish. I'm supposed to write this shit down on, like, a real piece of paper. Rare fish is for the traveling merchant. That's crazy. Just put a notepad in the game that I could... I would... I love the Zachtronic shit. I would love to just type it, uh into a notepad in the game that I could then refer back to. When are you going to give us Dogecoin advice? I will say, I opened uh, Wealth Simple yesterday, and it said Wealth Simple has now been approved by the Canadian Securities Commission to offer options. Would you like to opt in? I snap did it. I was like, I, I always want to have the option to have more freedom. And then I started looking into options contracts, and I was like, fuck that. I'm just going to buy ETFs. <laughs> I'm just going to keep buying v VGRO and VEQT, depending on the accounts. I'm, I was like, I mean, it's a, an options contract has a premium. The premium is multiplied by 100. And then I was like, well, I'm not going to go start reading Wall Street bets. And like, you know, I know you could, the main, the intended use for options is that you should, um, unless you're going to go on Theta Gang, the intended use is for, like, hedging. I'm not positioning myself. If I, if I want to hedge, I'll just buy... I'll go less long, bro. I don't need to put... I don't need to buy out-of-the-money puts or something like that. It's just too complicated. I did go to the Discord, and I said, Chibli, I just got approved to trade options. Any advice for me? <laughs> and then I... Then he said, I don't know. I just buy American uh, ETFs. And he told me he owns five shares of Apple. And then I said, yeah, I don't mess with individual stocks. And he said, yeah, but this is Apple. And I said, don't worry. I'm not talking about your five shares. And he took offense to that for some reason. I don't understand. I was being sincere. It was a good conversation. I felt like a real adult. 
I mean, you are a real adult. You're like 26, but not actually 26. Look up how much one stock is. Bro, I got 10 shares. I know how much one, st one share of Apple is. Also, they're called shares, not stocks. Just for your future reference. I wouldn't want you to embarrass yourself. Up three bucks today. Dude, the real meat and potatoes is like the 75 basis point um, dividend they give out quarterly. Wake up, honey. It's Apple dividend day. $2.20 has been deposited into your Wealth Simple Trade account. Holy. Stock and share are not interchangeable. You failed my Securities 101 class. Okay? Someone said they bought one stock. You would be like, which stock and how many shares? If someone said, I bought one share, you would be like, one share of what, motherfucker? You, there's two, they're, they're not interchangeable. That's like saying bite and food are the same thing. If someone said, you know, let's go get some food. Well, I don't know. I, I kind of lost the plot on this one, but. I'm right is the important part. <laughs> in my in my head, I'm right. You're incorrect. It's just the same guy who keeps telling me I'm wrong. I'm an accountant, and NL's correct. It's the same guy telling me I'm right, but he's an accountant. Ever noticed how Peloton Interactive is down 24% since NL started talking about it? Bro, if Peloton is only down 24% from November 2021, that's like a we're so back moment. I don't think that's true. At one point last year, I know that Peloton was down 95% from all-time highs. How can it be that far down? You know what they say. You ever want to get a 95% drawdown in a stock? Have it go down 90% and then just have it go down 50% more after that. Up 2.5% today. I literally, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying this to dispel potential rumors. I don't own Peloton stock. I just own it. I own the bike. I, I love the bike. I like the service. Bike and share are interchangeable. <laughs> Dude, that gives me a great idea. I should start an Uber for my Peloton. Like, I'm only using my bike, like what? 6% of the day or something like that. When I'm not using the bike, I should have like a, a reservation app where people can come over and use my bike without actually buying a bike for themselves. Yeah, wouldn't it? Well, I'm streaming. You just got some like middle-aged soccer mom behind me. <sighs> Going like, oh, I want to dance with somebody. I want to share the heat with somebody. Who wants to sit on that saddle? We could break it sanitation wipes or something like that. No, we just charge them like 10 bucks a ride. I'll break even like, well, the monthly membership's still pretty expensive. I gotta imagine we're probably not getting a whole lot of demand here. Might not break even, but it, you know, it would help at least. Some people would probably pay extra. You know what? You're not wrong. Outing myself as a Peloton employee. Hang on, I gotta read this. As a Peloton employee, but I joined in November 2021 and my options were underwater before I even finished my orientation. That's just bad timing. Honestly. You gotta imagine though, imagine if you got if you started working at Peloton in like 2012. Like if your ass is like Ali Love or something like that. Every month they were probably vesting, you know, like five thousand shares at 10 cents a pop then in the pandemic you see him go to like 130 bucks each i don't know why she's still biking man she should just start working at berkshire hathaway or something i note to uh viewers i have no um idea what ali loves net worth is but i wish her all the best she has the best tabata rides what peloton instructor do you think has the highest net worth i feel like uh Christine just has the vibe of someone who could, like, open her wallet and just make me disappear. I don't know if that's true. What are the ingredients of a chocolate creamio? I can't remember. I can remember the, the Nutter Butter, I think. It's Reese's Pieces Banana 
uh, brown dookie spray, white chocolate, peanut dust, and three bananas. It's not dookie dust. I remember because we put dookie dust on, on it accidentally. No bananas? Bro, the Nutter Butter has three bananas on it. You're losing your mind if you don't remember the Nutter Butter. No Hollywood? It has a dookie Hollywood. They didn't ask about the Nutter Butter? So here's how the conversation went. Someone said, do you remember the chocolate creamy -o? I racked my brain. I said, I don't. I can tell you the Nutter Butter. And then I said the ingredients of the Nutter Butter. And now everyone's saying that's not the chocolate creamy -o. No shit. Try to keep up. It's a bit, that was all, I built the, the world, the lore was handled in the prologue. You're not listening. No audio mode, what is he ranting about? <laughs> Don't listen. I wasn't ranting. This is, they hate to see a strong man winning. All of a sudden, when a, when a man gets gaslit and fights back against it and says, no, you're gaslighting me, people are like, oh, you should smile more. What gives, man? People will be coming out of the woodwork to hate. <laughs> People love to hate. I get it. I love to hate too. It just, it, it's very fun. It's definitely more fun than like being a supporter of something. Like what, we talked about it before, I know, but you're going to like pop in the, you know, the Canucks subreddit and be like, wow, our team did a really good job today. I'm so proud of them. No, you're going to be like, oh, you uh, Dakota Johnson, you fucking bum. Win a face-off 2023 challenge. Difficulty degree impossible. You got to be like a, a kind of a crazy person to log on to the internet and just like be positive about everything. But you got to temper your hate a little bit. It's at least got to be like... Sorry. I missed my entrance, didn't I? The, the hate should at least be like, oh, he made a mistake, but rather than tell him he made a mistake, I'll just say, sure, I'll just go ahead and do the same thing that didn't work for me before or something like that. And then like, that's the, that's how you hate online, in my personal opinion. Did you take any finance classes? No, I'm, uh, I'm an imposter. I listened to some economics podcasts and I've, I've read some books on finance, but really the way that it went down, I read um, a few books on finance and then I read um, Burden Malkiel's A Random Walk Down Wall Street. And the gist of that book is you basically don't have to read any more books about the stock market ever again. It basically says, go get other hobbies. And I said, okay. That's everything. Yeah, then you don't get other hobbies, and then you just start listening to finance podcasts instead. All that just to buy the index? See, you guys have got it twisted. 20 hours of reading that I enjoyed to learn to just buy the index is way better than being like, I don't need to read the books. I'm just going to buy the index. And then the next time we're in mania, you're like, why would I buy the index? 7% annualized returns? What's that for grandma and grandpa? I'm putting my life savings into fucking turtle coin or something like that. And then you, you, we'll, we'll see who paid more versus 20 hours or the cumulative annual growth rate of, uh, of turtle coin 10 years after you started your average cost basis. That being said, I am bullish on Turtle Coin because it's got great utility. We got this guy a mortar earlier. Some of you weren't here. Some of you don't realize you can spend more than one Slurp Juice on a single ape, okay? I, we talk about it all the time, but I feel like such a fraud because I've never put three Slurp Juices on a single ape. I've only put my Slurp Juices on apes at a one-to-one -one ratio. But maybe that's why my Dookie Dash scores are so bad. <laughs> I don't know anything about the metaverse, but I did read uh, an article about, like, a, I think they were a Washington Post journalist that was like, let's see what the metaverse is all about. And they were hanging out in Facebook world or Facebook realm, whatever it's called. And there was just a dude that kept following them around. So they interviewed him. And they were like, what do you do in the metaverse? And he said, I don't know. I'm here to just pick up MILFs. He, everything he said was just like, I'm just here for the MILFs. 
Meta Horizons, that's it. <laughs> Hang on, give me give me a second. I can't believe I'm searching for this. Meta Horizons MILF interview. It's from the Wall Street Journal, my mistake. Continue reading this with your with a Wall Street Journal membership for two dollars per month. Bro, you're the Wall Street Journal. Would you recommend I pay a uh, $2 a month for news? Or would you recommend that I buy the total market? Well, I guess I won't be looking at that quote instead. All right, never mind. Check out this website. It removes paywalls. Why don't you just come into my house with a hammer? Hey, you couldn't uh, get into this place you wanted to go to? Check this out. It breaks windows. I'm not going to steal just because it's... Uh, just because they inconvenienced me. That's immoral. My streamer. <laughs> Steal from the Wall Street Journal? Why don't I just rip the last loaf of bread out of a starving single mother's hands at the bakery? We, we're going to need Volcanus. I remember. Okay, you know what? We should sleep overnight. Now that was a good parallel parking job. You ever think about... Do you think you could parallel park in England? Because you drive on the other side of the road, right? I'm so used to driving a little bit past the car. Keep in mind I'm mirrored. Then put it in reverse. Look over my right shoulder. Reverse. The, their window passes my back window. Then I go la da 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 da. And then I go. Like I can just feel the, the leverage in my head right now. I don't think I've ever parallel parked left, man. I don't think I'm an ambi turner. Yeah, I've never parallel parked on the left side of a one-way street. Spaces are way smaller, too. Well, I, honestly, <laughs> they, I believe that. I do believe that, because at the end of the day, I do still live in North America. But the spots in Vancouver can be pretty, pretty tight as well. I was talking about it with Corey last night. I was laughing because we were talking about how psychotic the Costco parking lots are in the lower mainland. And then I was saying how, like, whenever I talk about Costco, there's always someone from the U.S. that's like, yeah, in the parking lots of Warzone. Then I drive to an American Costco and there's like 1,500 spots. And every single one of them is twice as wide as the widest car that's ever been sold. And, like, they have the, the double line so that even if you're touching the line, there's, like, space for you to get out and, like, put a shopping cart into. And I'm like, you guys don't even know, man. You don't even know. And it, it must get worse. Like, I, I went to a Costco in, in Daegu, South Korea, but I did not drive. I'm sure that parking lot is probably crammed in, like, it's like 65 square feet or something. Abbotsford Costco has double line stalls. Uh, excuse me, I said the Lower Mainland, and correct me if I'm wrong, sincerely, because I don't remember. Is Abbotsford part of the Lower Mainland? <laughs> I never know where it's... I don't... I th there's Vancouver. Then there's the Tri-Cities, which I think is Vancouver, Burnaby, Surrey. And then there's the Greater Vancouver area, which is like... It adds Richmond, and it adds Coquitlam and Port Coquitlam. And then there's the Fraser Valley, and then there's the Lower Mainland. I don't know. Wait, the Tri-Cities are, are Port Moody, Port Coquitlam, and Coquitlam? I didn't even know. You're teaching me stuff about where I live. What do you know about Maple Ridge? Absolutely nothing. You got me on that one for sure. <clears throat> Kate, are you watching this? We should just move to Abbotsford. Hear me out. I'm going to guess that the quality of sushi is not as good as the quality of sushi that we have in Vancouver. But I'm also willing to guess that the houses are a lot cheaper. You could probably get a, a good house for 35% less. Or pay the same amount and get a, get a fucking beep, 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 beep. Good morning, Ryan. 
Should I get the, should I pour your iced coffee for you? Yeah, Jarvis, um, and make sure you have extra ice this morning. Our AC was cranked up a little too low last night. You use AC in Canada? I don't want to admit to it, but yes. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. We do use metric as well. Americans in my house, when I say, hey Siri, set the air conditioning to 17 degrees. Ah! Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Cause that would be like really cold in Fahrenheit. Like you would not want your house to be that cold or your house should be like, you know, I don't know, insulated or <laughs> have walls, I guess. Should at least have walls. It is pretty cold in Celsius for an interior temperature, too. You're not wrong. What's the average summer temperature in Vancouver? It's probably like mid 20 Celsius. It's also, I mean, that doesn't mean that it's 20 Celsius or like 24 Celsius inside, you know? You also got the, the sun is, well, I guess you have the sun in all parts of the world, so never mind. I'm not going to embarrass myself. <laughs> We do have heat domes now and then. It's just, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I, we've lived in places without air conditioning. I would rather have air conditioning than not have air conditioning. Is it bad for the planet? Probably. Feel free to give up your air conditioning then, if, you're, if you hate it so much. Heating a home is much worse for the environment, don't worry. Well, we be doing that shit too, so... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It doesn't get that cold here, but when it gets cold, yeah, we, I mean, we use some climate control. At least you don't drive a car. Well, <laughs> um, I recycle and I compost. Good thing you never fly. We actually don't fly that much, mostly because of the global pandemic, but we're, we're like probably starting to fly more often now, yeah. Everybody's an environmentalist until TwitchCon Vegas, right? Am I, am I, just my, my impression, I don't eat meat, it's bad for the environment. Okay, catch Chibli flying across the Pacific Ocean four times in one calendar year. I gotta divert some of the hatred so elsewhere, man. I'm catching too much flack right now for, for just living. Thoughts on the NLSS curse coming for Z-Way? I'm not taking any flack for Z-Way show getting canceled. People were like, oh, they tweeted me. I can't help but think that NL mentioning the show is why it got canceled. The reason it probably got canceled is because if you go back to that quicksort moment, I was the only motherfucker in the call who'd even heard of it. If anything, I'm, I was keeping the thing alive. It's everybody else that doesn't have Showtime that, that killed it. I guess we should go to the Exus. As if my name is Scott Pilgrim. I wanted the trophy! Then again, we are also, like, basically done with the, the stream time today. Pog, and I'm not live tomorrow! <laughs> this is Good Friday. Oh no, but it's because we're going to be doing intensive potty training. Oh, oh well, you got to do what you got to do. It is staggering to me that the U.S. doesn't get Good Friday off, like, by default. Like, Good Friday is one of the... That's a top ten holiday. To me, that's like not getting Christmas Day off. We don't get Monday either? You tell me, you don't get, you don't get any day for Easter? In Canada, Easter is like the second most important holiday of the year. Even agnostically. So Easter, if in America, Easter is like basically St. Patrick's Day. In Canada, it goes Christmas is like, at least, you know, if, if that's what you celebrate, that's like number one. There's a big gap. And then it's like Easter next. Then there's a little gap. And then it's Thanksgiving. Then there's like a little gap, maybe a bigger gap. And then it's like Canada Day, Victoria Day, et cetera, et cetera. Easter's a, it's a big one in Canada, for sure. 
In Quebec, employers can choose between Friday or Monday. I don't do we anyone here live in BC and work a real job? Do we get both? I think I think typically we only get the Friday. But I literally ask it every year. I can't believe that the US doesn't get Easter. Like isn't the whole thing that it's like one nation something something under God for richer or poorer in sickness and in health. I think I'm getting a couple of different things confused. I have to work on Easter. Info. Are you the Easter bunny? Because if so, YTA. You're the asshole. If you're not the Easter bunny, I think you should get the day off. Unless you're going to work at a business that I'm going to go to on Easter. In which case, I need someone to be there. So I hope you understand. <laughs> Why? What? Everyone wants everything to be open all the time, but they don't want anyone, anybody to ever have to work. Somebody's got to, you know, say, hey, welcome to P.F. Chang's. Are you here for uh, Uber Eats or DoorDash? And I say neither. I'm here to eat food. And they, like, go, oh, oh, sorry. We haven't had anyone dine in in, like, three years. How am I going to get my Halloween stuff? So true. It's a time of the year I normally buy my Halloween stuff. What am I supposed to do? Not buy my Halloween stuff? I'm a big, uh, I'm a big believer in the P.F. Chang's lettuce wraps that I've only had at P.F. Chang's once because I've only been to P.F. Chang's once. But I've had them at the Cactus Club uh, several times, and honestly, I would say that I'm for them. What does P.F. stand for? Well, in the case of the lettuce wraps, I would say it's uh, poulet frit. Unless you got them with the shrimp. I don't even know what shrimp is in French. I want to say it's crevette. Is that correct? You ambiently pick up a pretty decent amount of French living in Canada just because it's on every package. I think you're right. Crevette. He's got it. Ask me what any food is in French. And I'll know eight of them. Shrimp, crevette. Got it. One for one. Hot dog. Led... Shen showed, got it. Pizza, pizza. Turkey club, uh, la club du dindon. Croissant, croissant. Sushi, mm, la, la petite. Poisson de la bibliothèque. He's done it. Pineapple? Ananas. Chilean sea bass? La poisson du lochon atlantique avec un chile. People say I'm not a polyglot. By the way, the YouTube algorithm absolutely thinks that my daughter is like a two-year-old um, polyglot that speaks 75 languages and loves watching Paw Patrol and Disney Junior. Because I, I see her, she gets the iPad, she clicks on something, it's like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I come back two and a half minutes later, she's watching Paw Patrol in Arabic. I don't know how she just, like, she's four clicks away from just all of a sudden, she's watching like, uh, like Bella Russian Bluey. Then I look at her, like, uh, YouTube homepage, and it's like, it's, it's barely English. It's like, it's Portuguese, it's Spanish, it's, it's every other language. Sorry, I'm soaking in the reactions. <laughs> oh, feels good. Feels good. Okay, slash marker, dredge. Whew. My friend's daughter watches some random Kazakh kids channel she found randomly. It... It does happen. Like, I one day I saw her on the iPad and she was watching like this cute video where like a cat is in school and he like hides in the room and they're like, where is cat? And then she's like, there he is, there he is. And then like, I, no problem. What do I care? Then like a couple of days ago, I saw her watching a video and it was like, 
Tokyo Jungle, basically. It was the same cat, and it was a video game where it was running, like, in a pack and eating other animals on the on the fields. And <laughs> I was like, what the heck is this? And it was the same account. The same channel uploaded the cute cat video and then also, like, 3D animation. This cat is hunting with its its fellow companions. Cookie Swirl see a damn VTuber now? I haven't seen her VTuber work. I've only, I've only seen her give um, Pinkie Pie a, a slime bath, I think. But I have seen it 175 times. It's not weird, honestly. Like, you're weird for thinking it's weird. There's just slime, and then they put like a, like a My Little Pony horse in it. And there, it's like a spa day. That's weird. No, it's weird if you watch it as an adult. If you're two, it's just, it's like the craziest shit you've ever seen. If you, if, of course, if you watch it as an adult, you're Not everything's going to be Pixar, right? Double it and give it to the next guy. I would assume that it's some fetish shit. Horny people are ruining it for everyone. And I'm talking about you specifically. Not everything weird is like for a fetish. Some of it is just like not made for you. Can't say anything these days. I was having a sandwich the other day. Oh, really? Oh, I get it. A sandwich. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't even just have a normal conversation. You're constantly like dodging minds in of double entendres that you're just you're just trying to send like a simple message everybody's like say something say something that i can say that's what she said too say something i can say that 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 sounds like my nickname in college say something that sounds like my that's my nickname in the bedroom i'm just trying to get a message across here the consequences of michael scott have been a tragedy for western society anyway um i'm gonna send you over to my wife stream i will see you on Monday, probably. It depends on how the potty training goes. And also if our daycare is open on Monday, which it probably will be. Anyway, I'll see you. Pardon me, I'll see you then. Later. Took my bike to the lake. Brought my shovel, brought my rake. Took my boy to the swing Let him swing, let them ring Bought my friends Italian beef Make them fart and make them queef Abraham Lincoln was governor here Only a steel man You know what I'm talking about? Sufjan Stevens?